Okay, we want to look at the search tool because it's a powerful and important function on eSort. The search tool is found by clicking on the binoculars at the top here in this menu bar. The binoculars is your search tool. And when you click on binoculars, you just left click, it will open up this window. <clears throat> in, in here is where your search area is. And this is in this part of the window, it will display the results for a search. When you're trying to figure out what it is you want to search for, you will put it into this space right up in here. And you will type it in. You have all you have then the next option is which version you want to search is right into here. And it will always default to the one that you have open in your main area on eSort. So in this case I had the scriptures open. But if I wanted to search in say King James while I have scriptures open, I will scroll through here until I find KJV. And I will click that. I'm going to search. I have different options. I can search for all of the words. So if I put in there, uh, listen, Lord, and one, I can search for all of those words, meaning all three have to be in a verse for it to show up in my search results. I can search for any of the words. And that would mean that any one of those three words, if the verse has one of those words, it will show up in my search results. If I made an exact phrase to search for, like, listen Israel, and I wanted that, I wanted to find where it says, listen Israel, not just listen or Israel, but that exact phrase, I will click on search for the exact phrase. The regular expressions, I've never used. You can play with that if you want to. You have a choice then on this drop-down menu, is what you want to search. You can search the whole Bible. You can search the Old Testament. You can search just the, the Pentateuch or the Torah. You can, you can see how it's all broken down into different, different things. So like if I wanted to search just in the Pentateuch, I could do that. I could search the New Testament, or I could search the Old Testament. It doesn't matter. I'll leave it on Bible. You have a few things here you can, which we'll talk about later. Right now we'll leave these. You can see it brings up a little thing that tells you what it does. So let's put something in there, and let's say um, we'll do, since we're searching in King James, we'll do Lord and One. And what I want to do is search for all of these words. I want both of these words to be in my search, my results. When I've got my search ready now, it's all in these criteria, I'm going to press the binoculars to actually do the search. And you'll see that little bar down there. Now my search results show up in this window. And it found 285 verses with 654 matches. And then it displays them and it highlights the words that I searched for. So the first verse that has Lord and one was Genesis 2.21. And I can even display it here. This was searched for with King James. If I hold over the verse in my search results, it'll show it in the scriptures, which I have open in eSword. And that's why that it dis displays it differently. But it will show all those to me. And I can scroll down, I can pull this down, and I can look through all 285 verses with 654 matches, which basically means it matched all those, matched both those words. In some, some places, it will have, say, two ones and one Lord. Well, that's one, two, three matches in one verse. All right, at the bottom of your search results, and this one was a pretty big search results, I normally would narrow that down and do things, and that's what I would do. But it will break it down in where it finds them. In Genesis, 10 verses with 21 matches and so forth. You can read those and see what those are all the way through the whole Bible. All right, so that's, that's one way of doing a search. While I'm still here, I can decide if I want to keep this search or if I want a different one, because I have that option. I can... If I want to keep this 250, 285 verses, I would say OK, and, and I'll show what that does. But I want a smaller uh, sample, so we're going to do Lord, and we're going to do a partial search as well. I'm going to show you that. I want to find out where it says that Jehovah, the Lord, is Savior, because I know it says that in the Old Testament. So what I'm going to do is put Lord in S-A-V, because I can't, I don't know if it's going to say saves, savior, saviors. And so what I want to do is get all the possible part and possible matches. So I want a partial match, meaning that this is part of the word. Also Lord, so it could be Lords or something, or Lordeth even. It's going to find all the possibilities that have this as a partial match when I click this button right here for partial match. 
uh, I could do it case sensitive even and I'm going to do that but I'm going to change then Lord to LORD in capitals and now it'll be case sensitive so it won't pick up other lowercase Lord it will only pick up the ones that are from yud heh vav -Hey and King James that's always in LORD capital letters okay I'm going to search the whole Bible in King James version I'm searching for all of the words so both of those words and I'm going to click the binoculars and we're going to do the search and now it found 121 verses 269 matches and I can see what these are. They're all listed here, like here, Genesis 8:21. The Lord smelled a sweet savor. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I was wanting, but I can weed those out, and I'll show you how we can do that. Um, actually, as I go through them, and that would be involving. I would use a search list, or and I'll uh, verse list. I mean. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, I'm, I've got these here, and I can look through all of them. I can see where they were spread out over in the the Bible with the, what it says down here. And I can see that they were all in the Old Testament because they didn't go past Zechariah. I'm going to say OK. And I go back to Esword. And nothing's changed. But in this drop-down list here next to the binoculars, and see there's a line on either side of that. This whole area is, is for your search. Your search results are in this drop-down menu. All those hundred, however many verses, are listed right in here. And I can click on any one of those, just pick one, and it will pop open here. Any one of those that I click on will open it up in eSort so that I can read it. What I'm going to do, though, because I want to go through these and search and look at them and read them, I'm going to start with the first one. And I get to choose whatever version I want to do this in. So, and Yehovah smelled a soothing fragrance, and Yehovah said in his heart, never again shall I curse. I'm going to put it in King James, because that's what I searched in. So I'm going to click King James, and now I can see it's going to say Lord and Savor. Now, up here we have these two arrows, and that is how we can cycle forwards or reverse through this list. So I'm going to click the next one. And now that I've done that, you notice it's highlighted the words that I searched for, so I can see them quickly and easily, because that's I searched for it in King James Version. And I'm looking here, there, it says, Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And let's say that this verse is what interests me. I've got a bunch more I'm going to go through, and I can easily, but I want to look at this one. I'm going to switch to King James Plus, and that gives me my Strong's numbers. I'm going to put this back on Brown Drivers Briggs because that's the lexicon I like to use primarily. And I want to look at this word for saved, and it is Yasha. Strong's number 3467, and I will click on that. And that will tell me the definition from the lexicon for Yasha, which is the root also of Yeshua. All right. Now also we'll look at the twat number, which is 929. So I want to look at that in here. So I'm going to put in 0929. And there it is. Now I can read that. Remember, I can click on this to bring it up full screen. Now what it shows me on the twat here is this is the root word, Yasha, the Strong's reference number. And then there's going to be the derivative twat numbers in translation. And what this is, is this is the root word in the Hebrew. And then these are the different forms and what they mean. Here we have Yasha, Yeshua, Shoa, Mosh, and all these related words that come from that root. And then it will walk me through, Twat does on this article, through each of these, diff these words, the different forms of the words, and talk about them. Really pretty neat. All right, I'm going to go back, go back to Brown Driver Briggs on my lexicon, and you'll notice it's empty. But I'm going to go back to the previous topic. Nothing there, so I have previous again. Still nothing there. And the third time, there we go. You just keep clicking until it pops back up, and you can go back to, your, to what you had there. All right, let's say that I'm really, really interested in this, now, in this word. I have two things I can do. I can go up here, remember the, the, the number, H3467. I can click up here, and I can put that in here. H3467. Now, if I search that right now, I will get nowhere because it's not on King James Plus. I need to put it on King James Plus. Then I can search by Strong's number. I'm going to take it off partial match and off case sensitive. Now, with King James Plus, I can search that Strong's number and find every usage, every place that that particular Strong's number is used. 
and there they all are. And I can look at those and see them and say, wow, okay, cool. I, if I say okay, it will replace my search results in the main window. If you remember that was up in here, it will replace them if I say okay. If I just say I'm really interested in one verse, I can click on that and open it up, say Joshua 10.6. I don't know, I just picked that. And then if I cancel this, now Joshua 10.6 is here, but my previous search results have not been replaced. They are still here. And sometimes that's handy and helpful. The other way to do that, as I said, we'll go back now, the back area, we'll go back to the previous verse, which we had been on. The other way, when I showed you just now that we could search H3467 through the regular search tool, is the other way is to right click on that number. And one of the options is a quick search on H3467. And I can search the entire Bible, the Old Testament, New Testament, or Exodus. Well, I know it's a Hebrew word, so it's only going to be in the Old Testament. So I'm going to click Old Testament. And what it will do is bring up the search results, which I had just done, actually. This will be the same results, but that was a whole lot easier. By doing a right click, I'm going to cancel that now. By doing a right click. Now that works on anything in this. You find anything. Let's say Israel is the word. I'm going to do a quick search on Israel. Right click on Israel and tell it where do I want to search it. Let's say the entire Bible. It will bring up the search window and it will search every place that the word Israel is. Just a quick search and it will show it. And there's a bunch, so it's going to take it a little while. And there it is, 2301 verses. All right, I'm going to cancel that because I'm not, I'm just demonstrating that. So wherever you are, let's say that I was in the scriptures and I wanted to search, it won't let me search on yod heh vav -He because it's in special characters and it doesn't like that. But I could search saved. I can do a quick search on saved. Right click on saved, choose where I want to do it. And we'll just do the Old Testament and we'll pop it up in the scriptures where it says saved, that specific word. I'm going to cancel that again. I'm going to go back to King James Plus. I'm going to go back to my search results and go, which is, I'm at Exodus 1430, and I just can scroll through those. That's how the search function works. It's really quite simple. Now, let's say that I find a verse that I really, really want to keep, and I want to put it together and compile a list of verses. If I right-click on that verse, I can copy this verse, I can paste it into topic notes, I can select it, or there's a verse list. Now I can add to verse list. And I click add, and it will be in a verse list. And you don't see anything. You don't see any verse list. Let's go add a couple more to that real quick before this video is over. So I don't know, just randomly I'm doing this, but you would add it to a verse list. I'm going to add, go add a couple more. Just skip through these. I don't know what I'm adding, but that's usually you would pay attention. But these videos are limited in length, so okay, what I'm going to jump down here and do this one, just for no reason. Okay, add to verse list. All right, now I want to see my verse list. Where is it? Well, you have them up here. You can go and look in here, and you can see all the different things that are available to you and we just want to find my verse list and it's under Bible verse list click it now here is my verse list these are the ones now I have others from a previous time that I'd added on here because I would need to empty this and then I can even save my verse list however I want see I hadn't saved it so if I wanted to get rid of the ones that uh, I'd had previously, I would basically select them using shift, I select a one and then shift, well, it doesn't want to do it, I just have to delete them. I'm going to delete my verse, and it just, it just works. You have to play around with that. If I had cleaned it out and did a new verse list, then we would have been, uh, see I've got several in mine. These are ones that I've put together previously. So like if I click to this, this is a verse list I have on Gewehr. If I wanted to make a new verse list, then I'm going to add, I'm going to give it a title, and then I would make it something. I'm going to, now it's ready to go, and I can add verses to it. 